Well, let's bring in Brendan Canavan. He's a professor of marketing at the University of Nottingham. He joins me now. Professor, thank you so much for being with us here on France 24 this evening. I think anybody would say that the risks of smoking at this point are, are quite well known. Why is something like this WHO initiative still needed? Uh, yeah, hi, thank you. Good evening. Um, I think it's a great initiative. It's just a reminder that uh, millions upon millions of people smoke, millions and millions of people are addicted, and maybe it's encouragement for them to perhaps, uh, you know, have that initiative that it takes to try to kick the habit, which is not easy. And, you know, we do it perhaps uh, with the new year, we have a new year's resolution, and maybe halfway through the year, it's a nice uh, time to celebrate and encourage people to do the same thing. It's also a very important reminder that millions of people take up the habit uh, each year and that maybe this is something that governments, that uh, legislators, that politicians might be prompted to do something about. There's a lot of debates going on all around the world in terms of tobacco legislation, uh, the marketing of tobacco, e-cigarettes, vaping, targeting children through these products. And I think today is an important day to remind us that we need to constantly keep an eye on this and we need to try to force change through. Well, Professor, you're a professor of uh, for, of marketing. So a, a good question for you. Cigarette ads have been some of the most iconic and recognisable uh, adverts of all time. I'm thinking of the Marlboro Cowboy, obviously. Um, nowadays, packs in Europe and other places like Australia, you're not even allowed to have the logo of the cigarette company on packs. How has the marketing of tobacco products changed over the years? Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, the Marlboro Man is actually said to be the most famous um, man in America, more famous than Jesus or George Washington or Abraham Lincoln, uh, you know, the most, influen most influential male archetype in American history. And I think the Marlboro Man, you know, it's from a marketing perspective, it's absolute genius. It's hugely influential. If you put this image out there of what a typical American man should be like, people that are interested in 